Hey guys, welcome to Shojib Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to animate a text or logo. So let's get started. So, so I have an empty canvas or empty window. Um, I want to create a new plane, which is going to be the background. Um, let's make the background white. Background. and place it here place it in the timeline you can extend it as long as you want see this is the background right here okay All right let's make it three minute uh, let's make it long that we can you know do different stuff to it and select this uh, click on make composite shot okay um logo animation okay so in here you have the plane object you can right click and do text um this will create a box select this text and then write something let's say um make sure the color is different color because otherwise you're not going to see it um Um, so let's say I have something like this build I want to do I want to pick impact yeah I want to go with this so I want to see this and keep some spacing in between um, hold on. some spacing okay yeah so we have something like this right so I want to teach you a couple of things. I want to teach you how to move from left to right first. So I want to do this. So I have this here. Um, I'm going to fade in and go to the center, right? Then I'm going to slowly zoom in. So it's going to get, I'm going to scale it bigger and bigger and bigger. When it's very big, I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to fade out. Um, let's see if the, how that works out. So starting from this. First, I want to move this to the center um, and so here so what i want to do is first i want to do the movement part okay click on position make sure you're at the beginning of the frame click on position and click on this toggle keyframe all right so you have you have toggled at that point now at at one let me see how long it takes to go there oh it takes a long time so let's see i want to I want to make it quick not too short um okay at this i want to create another i want to toggle another frame um and i want to move this to center okay like this like that right okay um, I think it'd be easier if I did this so uh, if I only so let me remove this I'm going to create another pointer and I'm going to Okay, let me do this again. Create a pointer. Keep going. I'm going to do this manually. I'm going to just change the Y axis so the X doesn't change. Um, so I'm happy with the current location. All right. So if I go back now, if I play it, see if it goes to the center. Okay, that's good, right? Yeah, so that part is done. Um, now what you want to do is go back right and click on opacity I want to create another keyframe and I'm going to make the opacity zero and then I'm going to go to this uh, to the to the second keyframe click on opacity create another keyframe and this is going to be 
100 okay now let's try this go back play fade in to the center right okay so that part is done now I want to zoom in right the zoom in part is going to be slow and click on scale click on toggle a keyframe all right it's going to put a keyframe um, by scale and then you want to go back to the second top keyframe click on scale and create another keyframe so it's going to be uh, one starting point for the scale and one the end point right the starting point for scale is going to be the regular size this one is going to be pretty big make it big make it big as this I'm going to bring it to the center okay and make it bigger oh wait I'm sad um, make it bigger bring it to the center okay let's see how it looks fade in zoom in okay that's good um, so that part is done now the part is I'm going to uh, zoom out I guess so it's going to be zoom I'm going to I'm going to scale more and zoom out okay so here uh, on scale and create another another toggle frame this is going to be super big um, at this scale is going to be super large like like this super large okay um, okay so go here first right you want to go to opacity and create a keyframe there so it's 100 percent opacity go to the last keyframe click on opacity and add a toggle the keyframe so this one is going to be zero like this now if I play this play wait let's let's do it like this okay play and zoom scale okay so it has to be hmm it's all right I don't know let me see okay yeah so I can work with that uh, I could make it better maybe I can move this maybe I can fade out earlier like so so this is the opposite part right so I can I want to fade out earlier maybe at this point let me try this fade out yeah so that looks better maybe a little more earlier. yeah so let me try this now oh, fade out fade out fade out fade out yeah there you go okay so something like that I, the point of this was to show you how to use the keyframe to animate it could uh, be the creativity is totally up to you and it's unlimited uh, I just wanted to quickly show you how you can take advantage of keyframes and add different special effects animation and stuff like that if you found this video useful please don't forget to press the thumbs up button if you haven't subscribed please subscribe until next time goodbye